Bree, you recently asked me if I remember the first time I knew I loved you. I can't recall. I still can't recall. But I do recall the first time I realized I wanted to grow old with you. It was in Palm Springs. We had just gone to the pool after breakfast. We caught the end of the daily aerobics class. And while you were watching that, I was just looking at you, thinking about us, about our future, and how no matter where we are, what we do, we always seem to have a good time. Palm Springs wasn't your first choice. In fact, I remember specifically she wanted to go to a beach, not a desert. <laughs> but still to this day, I believe it is our best vacation together. After that trip, I knew I wanted to marry you. Bree, I remember the first time I made you smile. I remember the first time you rubbed my leg because my arthritis was bad. <laughs> what makes me love you more than thinking about what we've built together is thinking about what we're going to build together. I promise to love and support the woman you are today, the wife you'll be tomorrow, and the person you hope to become. I promise to love you fiercely and passionately with everything I have to offer. From now to forever, I will never forget that what we have is a once in a lifetime love. I will choose you for today and all days of my life. I love you. We are gathered here today to witness Nick and Bree's holy matrimony. I've had the honor to see the relationship grow and blossom into something truly beautiful. I know the support, love, and respect they have for one another has already paved the way for the marriage to be an amazing and happy one. As Bree and Nick embark on this journey together, they will be able to nurture the love that makes each of them a better version of themselves. Marriage is the perfect garden to sow and harvest personal growth. Nick and Bree, you will learn to work together, to laugh together, to share devotion, and turn it inward. Nick. Never in a million years did I think that my love story would begin by meeting a guy dressed as Billy Madison at a Halloween party. But that is the exact reason why our love story is my favorite. It fits so perfectly who we are and why we have chosen each other forever. In you, I have found my truest and dearest friend. And to say that I will love you for the rest of my life doesn't seem fair because I know that in one lifetime will not nearly be enough. You are so authentically genuine and funny, and you don't change who you are for anyone. Your dad jokes and outgoing personality are what make you the life of the party. When I'm having a bad day, you do everything possible to make sure to put a smile on my face. Standing here in front of you today gives me all of the comfort in the world because I know that I'm marrying the person I was meant to spend the rest of my life with. I am so proud of the life we have built, and I know that this is only the very beginning, so I can't wait to see what the future has in store for us. So, Nick, from this day forward, I make these promises to you. To make sure that not a day goes by that you do not feel loved, not just with my words, but with my actions. To listen to you with compassion and ensure that you always feel heard. To stay silly, to never take ourselves too seriously. I promise to always treat you as my best friend and equal. To celebrate every victory, no matter how small, and to support you when things get tough to make you laugh every day until your sides hurt and tell you that you are the funny one in the relationship, even though we both know that that's not true. <laughs> and lastly, I promise to never give up because I did, I do, and I always will choose you. I can't wait to walk down the aisle with you and start the rest of our life. And now, by the power vested in me and by Washington, the state of Washington, it is my honor and delight to declare you husband and wife. Nick, you may now kiss your bride. Nick and Bree, I love you both with all my heart and want nothing less for the two of you than a lifetime of incredible adventures. Marriage will require you to be all in, to love each other unconditionally, and to adapt to changes within yourself and around you. Support those changes, support each other. Remember to make time for one another, to listen and learn from each other, and to ask for what you need 
and want from each other. Don't just assume the other person knows. Don't be afraid to be wrong, but apologize when you are. Most important thing. Pay attention to one another and be affectionate. Not in front of me, please. <laughs> but be affectionate. <laughs> Enjoy married life and never forget to laugh. We have always wanted, and we promised ourselves we would do it together. We've always wanted to skydive. And it was funny because Brie was right on board with that. She's like, yes, we're going skydiving. We're all, we set it up and get up and we're ready to, to get up there and jump. And I'll tell you the defining moment was when Brie was the first one to jump out of the air. <laughs> That's when I knew this is his girl. For Brie and Nick, here's to many, many, many years of joy and love, and I hope that you have as much fun and love in your life as your grandmother and I have had. And we wish you the most happiness that you can have 